First, tonight at 6, though, hundreds of Bartlesville families are cleaning up damage that left a mess for neighborhoods and for businesses. I spent the day in the community talking with people about the effort to return to normal. This entire fence is just cut. You can see it was bowing and then it just pulled up. I counted seven of the the pillars from the concrete. Her fence plowed over, her favorite tree ripped from the ground, and a littering of branches and roots throughout our Bartlesville neighborhood. It's just a reminder of how fragile everything is. Kyla so, Schaffner was born and raised in this city, and while she's seen her fair share of tornadoes, this one was something different. This is the real deal. Kyla lives in the north part of Bartlesville near Highway 75. It was one of two areas significantly impacted by the storm. And the whole house started shaking and I've never experienced that. So the doors were going tick -tick 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 -tick. What's left behind is mainly uprooted trees and roof damage, along with the battering of the utilities. Power, water, gas, uh, all of those, uh, even uh, cable, internet uh, interruptions as well. Carrie Cox, the city's emergency manager, has been doing this for decades. Pretty significant damage here in town. He says nearly 1,200 homes have been impacted by the storm. While it's the same twister that hit Barnstall, the damage here is more consistent with an EF1. This is some significant property damage we've seen here in Bartlesville. This shed got caught up in those tornadic winds. It actually caused them to have to replace the power pole here in this neighborhood. As crews are making headway, Cox says there's another issue that's impacted the cleanup effort. He calls them looky-loos. I was pretty surprised to see so much traffic the minute I opened the door after the storm was over. It's like a parade of, of big trucks with people, their windows rolled down looking. Kyla saw it firsthand, and Cox says as these families work to get back to normal, the community should respect the process. If you don't live in that damaged area, then stay out of that damaged area. Out of all of the homes that saw damage from that storm, Cox says only a small few are unlivable.